from Indie Arts Creations. Welcome to my channel. And for those of you that join regularly, welcome back and thanks for joining. Um, happy Easter. So today I'm going to do a a carton pour where I'm going to pour the paints into a um, a carton. I used half of the a carton, so it'll be six cavities. Um, and I'm actually going to use uh, it's called Caribbean blue, a Caribbean blue background. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pour the colors into the carton. So I'm going to start with the yellow. Uh, I'm going to do light violet. Called orange flame and all of the colors will be um, listed in the description. I'm going to be aqua green. A little lumpy. Um, I'm going to use a little white. I'm going to use white rather as one of our colors. And then this is called tickle pink. This is our eight cart and I'm gonna move it up. I'm gonna put it to the side. And oh, yikers. That sometimes happens. I'm gonna use the canvas as a surface. It'll be okay because our blue is dark enough. So here's our blue that we're using as our negative space. day for those who celebrate it. I guess you're on church online like myself. Living in crazy times. So someone actually asked me to use this color as a negative space. And so I was like, sure. I didn't know what I would do with it. Um, the canvas size is 16 by 20, I believe. Um, so let me say. Just going to move the color around a little more. And that's fine. It's easier if I let it run. Not, um, not sure easier, but I think it just flows better when I let it run. Sometimes I get a little impatient. <laughs> Yikers. All right, so long as it's covered, we have a few air bubbles I'm going to pop out before we get started. And um, I think I'm just going to do like a swirl onto the canvas, meaning I'm just going to swirl it and then we'll see uh, what I'm going to do from there in terms of, yeah, in terms of how the paint applies to the canvas, we'll determine what I'm going to do. I have a couple of ideas. So here goes the egg carton pour. Oh, that turned out nice. Okay. So 
Let's see, I think we're just gonna tilt it. Let's see what we come up with. And I'm gonna tilt, but I, I wanna leave some of this blue negative space also since it was requested i'm thinking that patrice is the person that requested it i'm thinking that he may want to see some of it so i think these colors are really nice um i guess we didn't leave much but I think our um, aqua blue was a good pick for this also. So I think I want to have a little more fun with this. So I'm going to wreck it with a comb. I have a comb that has both wide tooth and small tooth. And I think I'm going to try, well, I think I'm going to try if I can. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. I think we're just going to do it regardless. Uh, I wish I hadn't have done that. Because now, like, I don't like that right there. And there's no way for me to kind of fix that. So now I know what the comb looks like. Ah, did you see that? Ah. Now, what am I gonna do? I could, I could go back through and try to save it. I could, since I don't necessarily. Hmm. So the comb, the smaller, the smaller teeth, um, kind of muddied it. It looks so nice. Let's see if we could pour more and see how much we can save it. I'm going to pour more colors in the cavities. I think we can still save this. Let's see. Um, so yikers, it almost fell. I was able to grab it quickly. <laughs> they all want to fall now. Oh, my cups are trying to fall on me, guys. All right, so let's see. If we pour more, to save, a little muddied. Gotta uh, take up some off to the side. Let's see. Um, I like the before. I tried it with a small tooth comb. I'm not saying that I don't like it, but I do feel like it got a little muddied with the smaller teeth. So I think that that's just something that I would have to work on. Because um, I think that smaller, the smaller teeth definitely have value. I just think that um, with these colors, the way that they came out of the carton, they were fine, but the smaller tooth did muddy it some. Um, but I 
I still like the composition. Like now that I kind of moved it a little bit, I like the way that this looks. At first it looked muddy, but um, not so much anymore. So let's see. It's funny, sometimes I see things and I wonder how people get certain designs. And then sometimes um, I do a technique not knowing. And sometimes I get a design similar. It's not a definite one-to-one, -one, but something similar. So I am going to go and touch up the edges and I will bring you in for a close-up and you let me know. I definitely want you to comment and let me know where you kind of thought you were like, yikes. Stop there. <laughs> All right, I'll be back for the close up. Hello, here we are for the close up. I like these colors and I like the technique I was doing. So I think I'm going to do it again just on a smaller canvas because. Like I said, I really liked all the colors and I liked the composition I was going for originally. It's, I don't think it's anything wrong with this. It's just, it got a little too muddy for what I liked. So I would love to know what you think. Please comment, like, share, subscribe for my subscribers. Thank you for all of your support. And until we meet again, cheers to painting.